G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today from the Peddler's Fork in sunny Southern California. Hmm, and I'm sitting next to Mr. Dave Zabriskie. You might have heard of this guy's name. So rather than me babble on about uh, his virtues, I'm gonna have Dave tell you what he's been up to in the past and what he's doing these days. Yeah, I used to be a big bike pro, professional. <laughs> the, uh, used to race bikes on the Pro Tour for about 13, 15 years. Uh, I retired in 2013, and even before uh, gravel bikes were out, I took a, I kind of built up a Frankenstein bike and took it to Europe just because they have a lot of nice gravel paths over there I was exploring around on, but yeah, so I've been pretty excited about the gravel bikes uh, that are out uh, and available to the public now, so started the, the Dee's Nut House here in uh, Calabasas, that's just like a a camp type experience you can come go ride eat here we have the 3t gravel bikes available for people that want to come and ride those and i also have uh you know these nuts the chamois cream so mm -hmm. these nuts the these nuts house it's kind of a you know that theme mm -hmm. and then uh, i also work with floyd landis uh with floyd the leadville and uh that's a cbd company we have some, we have some of the product right here in front of us so uh yeah. I'll probably overlay some of that, but there's some of it right there, Trendsetters, be sure to check it out, I'll link it in the description below. Um, so Dave, what really drew you to this sort of riding? Um, uh, you mentioned when you were pro you were messing around in Europe on these roads. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of like, uh, it's a little more, it's a little more earthy feeling, like a, a little more solitude, you're not surrounded by vehicles. Uh, it's similar to mountain biking really, but I mean, on some of the, let's say, gravel roads, it's, those can be kind of boring on a mountain bike, so a fun way to make a boring trail fun is just downgrade your bike a little bit. <laughs> so that's basically what gravel riding is. Like, you can make a pretty boring gravel road kind of exciting with the right equipment. And, uh, and like, they're pretty decent speed on the road as well, so you can really just tie a bunch of things together in a fun way. In what direction do you think this John Rahr is headed? I think it's one of the possibly only growing areas in the sport. I mean, that and e-bikes probably. Uh, right now, it seems to be the hot things. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I mean, I, as far as events go, there's a lot of events out there. So I'm not sure how... I'm not really like a race organizer or anything like that, but I think people like me would just enjoy not being around cars and having that ability to not get run over and have a good time on a bike. Um, is there any uh, events that stands out as a favorite for you so far? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I've I've done a couple. I've done uh, Burke's Ride, that Tusher and the Crusher. Uh, I've done Leadville. I, it would actually, you know, Leadville's a mountain bike race, but the gravel bikes are at such a point right now. I, I bet you could do, you could easily finish it on a gravel bike. You may not be competitive, but, or that comfortable. <laughs> it sounds like a challenge to someone watching this video. You know what's gonna happen now, bloody hell. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the guys here talk about that dirty Kansas, so I'll, I'll be out there. I don't know if I'll uh, participate or not. But, okay, so DK might be on your list. Is there anything else you think for this year you'll ride yourself? Uh, yeah, I don't know. For me, it's kind of just things pop up, and I, I'm not a huge planner. Uh, I'm the same way. Yeah, I kind of just like to be at a level of fitness where I can jump into most things, but I think to do that DK, you might want to prepare a little bit, unless they have like a smaller version. Yes, the DK 100 or less. And um, second to last question, one by or two by for your drivetrain? I have both. <laughs> I have bikes with a one by, which is nice for most things. Um, but a two by, when you've been on the one by a long time, the two by is actually quite nice to have the smaller increments. Like, uh, so I enjoy both. But one by is definitely, it's probably what I go to most of the time. The moral of the story here is get yourself two bikes. 
So Dave, is there uh, a, a bike you particularly enjoy riding on these sorts of roads? Yeah, like I said, I have we have the 3T for the Nice Nuts House, so that's pretty much my go-to bike. It hold. What I like about it is uh, you can put the 700 Cs in, and even with those, you still get a lot of clearance. But then when you drop it down to the 650s, you you can run like mountain bike 2.1s. So it's just a pretty versatile bike, and and then even if you put road tires, you just put road wheels in, like it'll feel like a road racing bike. Like so, it's pretty. It's a pretty versatile bike and I uh, love it. <laughs> and final question, suspension on gravel bikes, yes or no? Yeah, I, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, if it's the right, uh, I mean, anything to make it more comfortable. Then you're blurring the line a little bit of what's a mountain bike, what's a gravel bike. But I think, you know, whatever works for the conditions is cool. I think an awesome gravel bike would be to take something like that uh, S-Works, the Epic because it's such a small amount of travel, such a lightweight frame. Just take that and build it with gravel parts and specialize with having like pretty cool gravel bikes. Yeah, I think Cannondale kind of, they had a good plan originally with that slate, but I think they kind of jumped the gun and didn't think, I don't know. Hope, I think they'll probably come out with another version sooner or later that'll take bigger tires and uh, use a different fork and be carbon. Yeah, because I mean, I I test rode that original slate, and I was like, it's kind of cool, but I'll wait until you guys can do a better job. <laughs> but ideally, also, I mean, I like, uh, I don't necessarily need a suspension as much as like a dropper post. Droppers kind of make everything a little easier, so I like a dropper post, but if you're, uh, yeah. Yeah. Those are my thoughts. Well, hey, thanks for your time, Dave. I appreciate it very much. Yeah.